guys and welcome once again to our tutorials modeling with RFM5. In this tutorial I'd like to show you several options to create various uh, 3D structures and for that we are starting straight with the general data which is the first dialog what we see by opening up RFM. So what we do here is we change the model type to a 3D model and then in this tutorial we are focusing on modeling so we won't apply any loads. This is why we keep the option creating load combinations automatically deactivated. And then we can click OK and start modeling. Our first structure will be a basic grid structure and we can either create a grid with single members or a much quicker option is to use the feature called generate model members which we can find on the tools. And in this dialog, we can first determine the number of spans in each direction. So A to B, for example, three spans on this side and A to C, four on the other side. Like it's illustrated on the graphic here. Then on the beginning number four, we can set in which order the members and nodes get numbered. Next, we can assign the cross section and the material. And here we can select the corner nodes A, B, C and D. And then by clicking OK, we can see that our grid has been generated and now it can be continued with adding some supports and loads. Our next structure will be a 3D truss and we have already learned how to create a 2D truss in one of our previous tutorials, either with creating a truss by individual members or using the model generator. And a 3D truss is a more complex structure, so creating it with single members would take some time. So it's better to use the generator for that. Once again, we will open the dialog and the tools generate model member. And here we can find a 3D truss. Starting with defining the geometry, we can first set the number of levels. We can keep that as two for our example. And then the number of spans on each level. The length will be three meters. Next, we can choose if we like to add a secondary bearing system or not. And then we can assign the cross section and the material again down here. And next, we choose the starting node, let's say here. And as we can see now, our 3D truss has been generated in just a few steps. If we go under tools once again, we can see that there are various options for generating a lot of common structures. Now, instead of creating more structures with the generator, I'd like to show you how we can model basic structural elements like a cylinder or a cone. And for that, let's start with a cylinder. So to create a cylinder, the first step is to create a circle. For that, there is the command up here, which is called circle via three nodes. And then with right click, we can find the option extrude line to surface. Here we can set the properties like material, the thickness, and we can also define an offset. What's important is to set the correct orientation of the Z axis. In my case, the global Z axis is oriented downwards. So I will choose negative Z here. And now we can close these two openings with creating two new surfaces for the bottom at the top with the option select boundary lines we can do that very quickly alternatively there is also the option to create a cylinder as a solid model for that we can click here on the symbol called extruded circle then again, this new dialog appears. Now we choose in our graphical area, first the center point to create um, the circle. And then we just type in the height of the cylinder. And as we can see, our second cylinder has been created. Our next structure will be a cone and how we do that. So to model the cone, we will first create a circle again. This circle will be a guideline in order to create the cone, but it's not absolutely necessary. Next, we need two more lines. So the first line will be for defining the height of the cone and the other one will be a diagonal line for the surface shape.
Now that we have sort of the frame for our cone, we can rotate it around our center axis, which will be this line here in the middle. To do this, we can select the option Rotated Surface and here we have two tabs where we can set the parameters for our cone. So the tab here, which is called General, includes the same settings for creating a new surface. We can set here the material, the thickness and surface type. In the second tab called Rotated, we can define the rotation parameters, starting with the angle of rotation, this will be 360 degrees. Next we can define the rotation axis, the point P is up here and point R is down here. So we select these two points out of our model, point P and point R. Then we can click OK and select the diagonal line which we have created as a guideline. And now we can see here in our graphical area, our cone. Our last example will be creating a membrane structure. And we will create this between three columns. So for that, first we will create three new members and connect them with lines. As cross section, we choose, let's say, a rectangle, 400 by 400, and concrete as material. Next we will add the lines. Now instead of a normal surface, we need a quadrangle, which we can find up here. Under surface type, we choose quadrangle, and then we can find under stiffness, the option membrane, orthotropic. Next we will create a new material, which is suitable for our membrane. So we click here on create new material and then we can set the properties of the material we like to have. The specific weight and alpha will be zero. For the partial safety factor, we can type in one. And then we can see here the option material model. For our membrane, we choose orthotropic elastic 2D. After that, this new dialog appears, and here we have to set the modulus of elasticity, sh the shear modulus, and the Poisson's ratio. For our example, we will enter the following values. And now we can click OK through all of these dialogs and then select the lines. And as we can see, our membrane structure is complete. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can write in the comments below, or you can also visit our website, luba.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.